Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu Idano Grene. I'm here to show you how you can use GeoGebra to do some mechanical animations. So this time around, I have a mechanism to demonstrate for you. Let me import the image of the mechanism so that you can see it and understand how it works. So I've already screenshot the image and I saved it here so look at them let me search for the image and bring it okay this is the image I want to demonstrate alright so I've imported it into my GeoGebra so let me close this uh, algebra view and then need this view okay so this is the image so let me make it large all right, I think this is large enough for us to view. Okay, so let me close my houses. This is this. All right. Okay, so before I start, let me explain this mechanism so that you understand how it works. So this is a mechanism in mechanical engineering. And if you see this mechanism, we have a link here, which is the OA link. And this is the main mover, that is the prime mover of this link. So this is the main power source. As OA link rotates around this point, it transmits power to AB link. That is a, a connecting rod now from A to B, so the AB link. And if you look at the AB link, it's attached to this link here which is uh, at perpendicular to each other and I can see the link is inclined at 90 degrees and attached at this point C in this fixed member here that means as OA rotates AB transmit power to this link this uh, perpendicular link and this perpendicular link vibrates like this then it oscillates in this order like this at this point then at the extreme end the point D is connected to this slider here so this piston slide inside this slider so this is the mechanism I want to demonstrate using GeoGebra to explain it and with this you can also learn how to use some of the tools in GeoGebra so also do some of your work if you wish to use GeoGebra in your work so let's go and see how it works so let me start with this fixed link now, which is point O. Just get your point. Let me put it somewhere here. Alright. And let me name it point O. Just right click. You name it point O. Alright. Then you make your circle with radius. Let me take radius 2, for example, in this case. Alright. Okay, then let me get my point A on the circumference of the circle. Then you can right click and rename it. So that is A. Okay, then you connect it with the segment O to A. Alright, now this is, let me undo this. Okay. Now point A has been found, we can move around the circle. So we can see it, so that is that. Now the next thing I need is, I need to connect A to B. How do I do that? If I can connect A to B, I need to locate this fixed point. And you can see the distance in the mechanism from point O to point C. So you need to come down at uh, 300 and millimeter so i can just take a scale maybe one to 100 centimeter scale then and that one is okay so this is the major distance i need every other one i can use any assume measurement um, or dimension i'll see get my result so all i need now is to get my second point my fixed point which is point c so let me go in this order Okay, let me stick here let me come down like this so let me put it somewhere here okay 
so that is my point C. Let me label it point. Okay, the name is already point C. All right, so that is settled. Okay, now we start. Now I need to locate point B to get point B. So A, we center A. I need to get a circle that will pass through somewhere here. If I do that, let me hide this circle. Okay, so I get my circle with center and radius center A. Let me just take radius 5. Let me see. Okay, let me take, let me use radius 6. Let me extend it to radius 6. Okay, I think radius 6 is okay. That means I need to push this point. Let me put this point somewhere here. Okay, let me put this point somewhere here. Okay. Now I need circle again using C as a center. So let me take radius 6 also. Let me try 5 first. Let me see. Okay, I think 5 should be okay. 5 is okay for us. So now all you just need to do get your circle A as center. Let the circle go around through this point B. You know you are locating point B. Then the fixed point C as center. Get the other circle. Then as you do that, the next thing is we need to get our point of intersection between the two circles. So this is the point I need. And that point is labeled point B. So right click, rename circle as B. That is okay. Then you join with your segment to here, then here to here. So that is okay. Then circles, you can hide them. Right click and click on show objects. Click on show objects. You click on show object. Okay, that means as A rotates, you can see how B oscillates. So that is that. Okay. Yeah. So on point B, I need a perpendicular line. So you get a perpendicular of B passing through C. So before I do further, let me see see how the perpendicular rotates with the point. So I need this point C to D. So I just need a short segment. Let's say from here. Let's say to somewhere here. I think this length is okay. Yeah. Then with that, your work is over. You can hide this line now. And label this as point D. Rename it and call it. Okay, it's already there. Point D. That is okay. And that is all. So as point A rotates, you can see the perpendicular link, which is B, C, D. You can see the ways it oscillates. So that is it. Then you can now connect your D to that point D to this slider and that is all about this mechanism that is all about this mechanism and all I need I need this distance from the fixed point C to somewhere here and the label here call it 100 and what I just need is a line get your line let me put the line somewhere here just get two points draw your line just make it straight and that is that so now that I've gotten my line so on this line you need a circle of center D so get your circle radius center of D let's take radius 5 and that's okay and this is the point I need which is point E then get your point of intersection of this circle and this line and you are done with that then you label this point point E 
then hide the circles you don't need right click show object right click show object right click show object then you can connect the two links now D to E then just create a small sliding box let me create a small sliding box get a circle let me take a circle of uh, let's say one millimeter circle then let me just do a polygon around it something like this I'm just doing this something like this okay alright I think this is okay is it okay now let me just make it look neat then hide what you don't need I don't need this circle I don't need all this point I don't need all this point I don't need this I don't need this and that is all mechanism done and walk over so let's play the mechanism I know how will this work as A rotate round to transmit power to AB and make this 90 degree link oscillate and it transmit power to this slider point E and let me just pick put the trace so that we see the trace of the parts let's see the trace of the part of the moving members trace okay and that is all but let me animate it just click on animation so this is how the mechanism works as A rotates link E oscillates you see the way it transmits the power A rotates A B oscillates Transmitting power to this perpendicular link B C D and they are fixed at point C just this point C then D is connected to E and E is oscillating in this order. So this is the mechanism. I would also like to show you how to save. I've not really saved since I've been doing this video. In case you want to save this, all you need to do is let me remove the grid just right click click on the grid as me you don't want to see this just want to get this as an applet you can also hide this just click on the image you can hide it you can hide the points you can hide this point you can put it on where you want then if you want to save you click on this you see save there then type the name you want to use to save it let me just call it mechanism let's say mechanism then as you click on save it will take you to a folder so wherever you wish to save it so this is desktop let me save it to my desktop so you can just put it in desktop and that is all saved so you have saved this mechanism then you can refer to it later on demonstrate it to your student depend on what you want to use it to do in your study so this is how you do the mechanism i just demonstrated for you and that's all for this video do have a nice day